My name is Jim Suzay. I'm a design engineer in signal conditioning products. Today, I would like to introduce the LT6110 cable drop compensator. Wire resistance causes a common problem in power distribution. When a load draws current through a long or thin wire, wire resistance causes an IR drop that reduces the voltage at the load. A regulator IC cannot detect this drop without a Kelvin sense at the load which requires a multiconductor wire that can be expensive and is not supported in common applications such as USB power. The load voltage will also change with load current which can cause additional load regulation and noise problems. Solutions exist but most are complicated or expensive. The LT6110 detects the load current and sets a proportional current at its output that can be used to adjust a regulator's output voltage to compensate for the drop in the wire. The accuracy and output current range of the LT6110 allow it to compensate a wide range of regulator circuits to a high degree of precision. Resistor programmable gain gives substantial flexibility to the compensation circuit. An internal sense resistor simplifies circuit design and reduces cost. A signal bandwidth of 180 kilohertz enables fast response time to low changes and provides good loop characteristics so that the power supply circuit remains stable. The LT6110 requires that the resistance of the wire be known. However, that resistance does not have to be very accurate to achieve good compensation. For example, if the resistance of the wire were to double, causing a 50% error in the compensation voltage, the regulation at the load would still improve by a factor of two. For systems that are better controlled, the load regulation can be improved to far exceed that possible without the LT6110. A 10x improvement in load regulation can typically be expected when using the internal R sense for load currents up to 3 amps. For higher load currents and better accuracy, an external sense resistor can be used by leaving the RS pin open. Additional IR drops due to printed circuit traces, connectors, or the load regulation of the regulator itself can be compensated for. This makes possible the use of narrower traces and thinner wires while still maintaining good regulation at the load, saving board space and cost. Now let's go to the lab. Here is an example of a 5 volt power supply circuit using the LT3972 switching regulator and the LT6110 cable drop compensator. There are 10 feet of 24 gauge wire added in series with the load. A switch has been added from the output of the LT6110 to the control point of the regulator circuit to demonstrate the effectiveness of the compensation. With no load current, the output of the regulator and the voltage at the load are equal and sit at approximately 5 volts. With one amp of load current and no compensation, the output of the regulator remains at 5 volts while the voltage at the load drops to about 4.75 volts. The drop across the wire is about 225 millivolts. Now, the output of the LT6110 is switched in and the voltage at the load goes to 5 volts. Note that the drop in the wire is identical, but the regulator output increases to compensate. Next, the load is switched between 1 amps and 2 amps. The voltage at the load remains the same at both current levels, while the output of the regulator adjusts as needed. Note that there is still a transient when the load switches. This would be present with or without the LT6110. However, the LT6110 circuit bandwidth can be adjusted to tailor this transient to either minimize the transient time or the overshoot or balance the two. In the lab demonstration, the I-out pin was used to provide a sinking current to control the output of a regulator with a ground referred adjust pin. The LT6110 can also provide a sourcing current via the I-mon pin to control a regulator with an output referred adjust pin such as the LT1083 or a regulator with a current reference set pin such as the LT3080. As an added feature, the output current from either pin can be converted to a voltage via a simple resistor, creating a voltage that is also proportional to load current. This voltage may be used to measure or monitor the load current. Either or both pins may be used for adjustment, and either or both pins may be used for monitoring, allowing substantial flexibility in system design. 
In conclusion, the LT6110 is a simple, small, inexpensive solution to a significant problem in power distribution. It is easy to use and works with a wide range of circuits. It provides good precision even when circuit elements are not well defined as only the corrected voltage is affected by component tolerance. The LT6110 makes it easy to tame load regulation. For additional information on these products, please visit our website at linear.com where you'll find data sheets as well as additional information regarding voltage references. Thank you for watching.